If you need to get a range of numbers in Python, you can use the range function, which generates a sequence of numbers starting with one number, which is included, and ending with another number, that, which is excluded. It has an integer step value that's optional, and the range function can take up to three integer arguments. So if you pass one integer argument to it, then it's going to create a range of numbers, a sequence of numbers that's only non-negative numbers. So if you, let's say you had a range of three, it would give you zero, one, and two. And then if you specify two integer arguments, like A and B, then it would give you a sequence of numbers within the range starting at A, which is included, all the way up to one number less than B. So for example, if it was range of one to five, it would be one, two, three, and four. And if you had a third argument, so range A, B, and C, it would give you the range of numbers from A included all the way up to B excluded, and then it would increment by C. So if C was five, it would give you every fifth number between that range. Let's try this out in Python and see how it actually works. So let's say your age was six years old. Let's write a little if statement. If age in the range, and if we just specify one argument, five, we can print out toddler. Okay, so that means if your age is zero to four, you're a toddler. Elif, age in range, Check this out, five to 13, and a 13 is, is excluded. We could say that you are a kid, oops, and LF age and range 13, which is included up to 20. Well, it'll actually be up to 19 because 20 is excluded. And we'll print teenager else grown up. Okay. So let's try it. If we're six, we should probably be in this range right here between five and 12. So we're a kid. Okay. And if we are five, we're still a kid because it's five is excluded here. It's gonna go from zero to four. So let's try four. Now it's gonna tell us we're a toddler. Zero. I mean, you're really a baby, but I guess you're still a toddler according to this program. Let's try 12. We're a kid. 13, we should be a teenager. A teenager. If you're 19, you're still a teenager. Okay. Cool, but as soon as you become 20 and up, you're no longer a teenager and you're a grown up. So this is a quick example of using range. If we wanted to try out the third argument where it can increment by specific numbers, check this out. LF, age and range. So you start at 20, go up to 100, and we'll increment by two, which is a little bit weird. Grown up and even, and if it doesn't make it there, then it's probably grown up and odd. All right, so let's try this. So, oops, oh, forgot the colon. Let's try it now. Grown up and even because we're 20, 21, grown up and odd, 22. Grown up and even, so you could see how that works. It increments by two. And in this case, it happened to be an even number, and if it wasn't within the range because it wasn't an even number, it'll just go to the else part. So the range function is pretty useful, and you can also use it in looping structures like for loops and while loops, where you can check if a number is within a specific range, and if that expression is true, you can execute the body of your loop.